I want to say right now, this single framework that I'm about to lay out will help you far beyond anything that I can think of because I'm going to lay out a four step framework and this is going to be the recipe to help you be successful in career, help you be successful in college, help you be successful in NIL, anything you can think of. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the episode. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. And today we're talking about the framework that will give you everything that you need when it comes to being able to convey a message to where people will listen, to where people will rock with you, and to go even further to a place to where people will continue to follow you wanting more, all right? So think about it like this. Think about it like this. When's the last time you saw a movie? Or when's the last time you saw a show getting ready to get released on Netflix or anywhere else? What do they do? One, they create anticipation, okay? So they create anticipation by letting you know what's coming. At the end of the preview, it goes boom, coming to coming soon in 2047 or whatever, right? Coming soon, boom, this Christmas. Coming soon, boom, in July, whatever it might be. So the first thing that they do is create anticipation. All right, now let's take it a little bit. Let's rewind it a little bit. Let's rewind it a little bit. In any preview, except for some of the ones that, that are new now, they're giving away too much in the preview. Now I'm like, come on, bro. That wasn't the preview. You gave away like the whole movie, bro. Like just give me some of it, bro. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. So look, every time we look at a preview, what do they do? They tell you a story. I'm going to stop right there. They give you enough information to where you can piece it together, but there's a lot of holes in it. For instance, the Black, Pan the Black Panther Wakanda Forever trailer. If you watch the trailer, the trailer tells you a story, but at the same time, they, te they tell you a lot, but at the same time, they tell you nothing, okay? But you getting ready to look for career, getting ready to position yourself for NIL, looking for a way to stand out. The first thing you want to do is you want to build anticipation, all right? So let people know something big is coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you're a student athlete or you're a staff that support them, this is just for you. Listen up. I wrote a free ebook helping student athletes to successfully transition post-graduation. It's seven things, right? Seven things I laid out. I talked about, of course, having a LinkedIn profile. I talked about having a way to develop themselves. And I talk about five more things in this ebook. So hit the link just down below, download it. It's for free. You will thank me later. All right, it's Jonathan Jones. I'm out. Right back to the episode. Something big is coming. Follow me and be the first to know something big is coming. All right. So first, we're going to create a level of anticipation. Okay. The second thing we want to do, you want to begin to tell stories, all right? When it comes to breaking down this framework for the elements that I'm giving you for this blueprint, you want to create anticipation and you want to tell a story. John, why do we want to tell a story? You want to tell stories because stories, they hit the heart, okay? Stories hit the heart. Never forget it. And when you hit the heart, now we're playing the heartstrings and emotions are brought in. So we attract the people who ride on emotions. That's, for, that's, that's second. Two, well, three would then be you want to provide the people with some information, right? Maybe give them a tip. Maybe give them something that they wouldn't get anywhere else, an exclusive, if you will. Give them some form of information because the information plays to the people who are logical, analytical, the people who need to know, well, what did I learn from this? What did I get from this? At the end of this, was it worth my time, right? Then we want to make it memorable. Just think about the nationwide commercial. This always sticks in my mind, but H-E-R, she sings the nationwide commercial. And at the end, she sings, nationwide is on your side. 
Why is this relevant? I haven't watched TV at least like in a week, but she is sticking with me in my head because she made the commercial memorable. So for you, how can you make your content memorable to where it's not like everybody else's? Maybe you're out running on the track. Maybe you're doing push-ups in the weight room and then you grab your phone and then you go into doing something there, right? Maybe, I don't know, maybe if you're a gymnast, maybe you do some flips and you grab your phone and then you boom, tell a story, right? But how can you stand out with your content? This is very important to be memorable because when you're stuck in somebody's brain, then when it comes time to, to spend money or when it comes time to find somebody for something, you're going to stick in this person's head based on something that you did or something that you said. Okay. And then the last piece is leave them wanting more. Leave the people wanting more. Okay. Let them know, hey, if you enjoyed this, what we talked about this week, let, let, like let's say you do recipes. If you enjoyed this uh, cheese quesadilla that we broke down this week, my, my, uh, my chicken cheesy quesadilla recipe that I made this week, well, you want to stay tuned for next week. So make sure to follow me because next week we're going to be doing something a little bit different. All right. This week we did Mexican. Next week we might be doing something maybe like a surf and turf. You, you want to leave them hanging. All right. So the first thing that I said was we want to create a level of anticipation, right? Well, well hey, well, what's John doing? What John have coming next week? What, what, what's going on? So you create a level of anticipation by letting people know you want to stay connected with me and make sure that follow, because if you don't follow, you're going to miss it. And people hate missing out. That's first. Number two, you always want to tell a story. I heard it said before, never make a point without telling a story and never tell a story without making a point. All right. This is truly essential. All right. So that's number two. You want to always provide information. Because there's different types of people that have different personalities. And some people, they'll just ride with the story. Other people will say, what did I learn from this? I want to take something away. This, what, this took away some of my time. What did I learn? Number four, you want to make it memorable. How can you stand out? How can you be imprinted in someone's mind? And then number five, you want to leave them wanting more. Family, this was a quick five-step framework for storytelling and creating essential content as a student athlete. But I want to let you all know, I never put it out there. I never published this book, but I have an exclusive ebook and it's geared, it's seven ways to position your student athletes post-graduation success. All right. And I'm going to put the link just down below in the show notes, completely free ebook. Uh, be sure to click the link and get access to that. But this is Beyond the Ball. I'm Jonathan Jones, where we help you succeed beyond your degree.